Let's unpack this whole gender conversation. Um, you use a device or a character called the genderbred man. Person. To, oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> the genderbred person. It's okay. I found it really helpful to think about gender in a few different distinct categories. Gender identity, how you define your gender and how you see yourself. Gender expression, the different ways that we present or perform gender through our actions, our dress and our demeanor, and biological sex or anatomical sex, the physical characteristics that make up our body that in many people's minds um, equal gender, but don't. So gender expression is the way you present yourself to the world. So you could be talking about the way you dress. Yeah. Uh, the way you comb your hair. Or, or don't. Or use product. Yeah. So everything kind of as it relates to the outside world, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a perfect way of thinking about it. So even just, okay, so <laughs> this is funny. The way that I'm sitting right now is a very feminine expression of sitting, because like how we sit is gendered, right? And meanwhile, I'm kind of manspreading. Yeah, you're manspreading. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even giving me enough room to properly manspread over here. <laughs> this is the man cross, the, the masculine way of crossing a leg. This is just uncomfortable for me. It feels it's, like it so feels much. It feels good to me. Yeah? Yeah, it's like yoga. <laughs> okay, legs. now let's okay. do the girl. Okay. So gender is different than sexual orientation. Yeah. But a lot of people get them confused. Yeah. Gender is who you go to bed as. Sexual orientation is who you go to bed with. Got so it. if you haven't heard that one, that one's important. So let's talk about penises and vaginas, shall we? <laughs> yeah, we might as well. <laughs> let's just you, go right if there. If you haven't already talked about penises and vaginas, we need to talk about penises and vaginas, because that's what everybody always thinks. Like, immediately, as soon as you say gender, anybody who's walking by right now who's hearing us say the word gender, the first thing that's popping into their mind is external genitalia. They're thinking about penises and vaginas. So for the purpose of our discussion, the bottom line is your external genitalia does not dictate your gender. Yeah. Wait a second, can you rewind that? The bottom line is your external genitalia does not dictate your gender. Yeah, I mean, that that I couldn't have said it better. 